my Timex watch, this is the watch I originally went to the Timex website to buy. And I actually ended up buying these two as well. And um, just on a whim. So this one, it was the one originally I wanted. So let's take a look inside. I can get it open, there we go. I, I do like this little box book type thing they've done. Uh, it's quite quirky and usual, very, very light. You've got elastic there. Yeah, it's very book-like. So let's see. And there we have it. Oh, not really packed in any cushion or anything else like that. And it's just sort of stuck down. Is there anything else in here? It's probably just the manual. I don't know if they give you a warranty card or something. I suppose they're so cheap they don't bother. So there we have it. This is my Timex, uh, I think it's they call it the Mark 1 Mechanical. Is there a piece of uh, plastic over here? There we go. Let's take that off. No anti-reflecting on this, unfortunately. But at this price, wow, it is light. It is very light. I'm going to go into more detail later. I'm not sure about this uh, strap, honestly. Not really a big fan of... If it was just khaki green, it, oh, sorry, just yeah, the green, it would have been nicer without the strip, but hey ho. But yeah, I originally I wanted the black version, but for some reason, here in England, they don't sell the black one. It's only the green. So I'm not too sure about the green. Let's get a closer look at the dial. There's too much anti reflecting here. Let's give it a wind. Well, that started quick. Now, this is a manual wound movement it's not bad um, you can hear it winding there we go that's the full wind I'm not sure 100% off the top of my head uh, what uh, power reserve this has got and I believe it's a Miyota movement but I'll go into more detail and do a full review and, and look into it a bit more but I just I just liked it uh, I wanted the the black would have been look, looked a lot better I think Let's see it on wrist. Oh, there we go. And there we have it on wrist. I do like the size. This is a 36 mil. This is just a really nice everyday knockabout kind of watch that I can wear. It's really, really light. It's very thin. And I just like the look of it. It's very vintage inspired. And yeah. I just really liked it. And the back of it has got, what is that engraving? I don't think we'll be able to see too much uh, on here. I can't see much through the viewfinder. Watchmakers established 1854. I think that's says stainless steel. The Mark I collection. F is it 50 meters water resistant? Again, I'm looking through the viewfinder, so it's quite hard to see. And they've got this kind of laser. Is there a piece of... Yeah, there's another piece of plastic up on there. Laser uh, etched. Uh, so, well, that's quite rough. That, that is very rough. I think I'd rather have this back on there. Yeah, I think I'll leave that back on. That's quite a rough thing, but really thin, really small. I believe that's acrylic domed. But yeah, what do I think of the green? Mm. I'm in a uh, natural light, so it's it's a lot more green, I think, than uh, it will be inside. But yeah, for the price I paid for it, I can't can't really complain. It's uh, I got it at a really cheap, well, kind or kind of a cheap price. They were having a sale. T uh, Timex always have sales on, so if you're after one of their watches and you don't see it on sale, don't buy it. Just wait until it does come on sale, and you'll be able to get it at a cheaper price. But it is stainless steel, I think, but it doesn't doesn't feel very robust but yeah compare that to a 40 mil this looks absolutely tiny but I like the this size okay so I will be wearing this for the next few days or weeks and so on then I'll come back with a full review of this one I will have already done a review on these so I'll put a link in the description or at the top there so you can go and watch those